Hello everyone, I'm your regular host of the Art and Proud African LGBT High YouTube channel. Um, this week has been a very sad one for the LGBT community worldwide in Africa and in particularly Uganda. Reasons being that the Ugandan parliament have just passed a bill which they call the Sexual Offenders Bill. A portion, a section of that bill criminalizes the LGBT community. This afternoon, I'm at the Kessington Park. Weather not looking too good, actually. But this is a place that is lovely that you want to be at all times. I'm having my friends here and they are here this afternoon to express their feelings concerning the bill which has just been passed by the Ugandan parliament. Come along with me as I speak with them. Thank you. Paul, this sexual offenders bill that have just been passed, what's your opinion? Please tell me about it. Thank you, Lenny. My opinion about this bill is that it is so, so, so hurtful and painful, especially for people who are like me and my colleagues of the LGBTI community. It criminalizes um, us and puts us into grave danger if, if this bill is assented to by the president. And I believe that it is a backward step and by the, our country if enacted into law. It will bring a bad image to our country. Yeah. It will impact on me as a gay as a gay person and all the other people who are like me. Mm. And it's so unfortunate that instead of our leaders handling the critical issues that affect our population e.g. poverty, health facilities are run down, education, and etc. etc. All that they come up with is laws that hurt their own citizens. So that is so unfortunate. It is. And it exposes our country in that uh, we get our like a bad reputation among among other countries of the world that are progressing instead of us who are going backwards. So right. I appeal to our to our leaders um, to come make sense and enact a um, number of laws that are going to, to be helpful for the people and to protect them. Paul, if you have an opportunity to spend one minute with one of the MPs in the Ugandan parliament, what are you going to tell him or her? Thank you, Lenny. I would be able to tell him that He should lobby and fight, um, fight for the rights of people like me and the rest of the LGBT community in order to force the government to abandon this legislation because it will be detrimental to 
to a number of citizens, including me, and instead, if the government could, could, could if they could, could fo focus on more important issues other than this one, I would, I would ask him to, I would ask him to use um, his platform in parliament and urge the, the government to scrap this legislation in order for us to be safe. I've been spending time with uh, Paul. I do hope when next we call upon you, you will hit to our call. And hopefully this bill, the members of the parliament will have a soft heart and have a change of heart. Definitely, we'll see you soon. Yes, and I'll be prepared. I'll be prepared to, to meet you at another forum. I, I appreciate this opportunity that you've given to me, and I, I can't wait for the next opportunity in order to articulate our outrage at what is going on in my country on this matter. Thank I you. thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't change the dial as I welcome another friend of mine from Uganda. Welcome to this uh, channel, Andrew. Thank you, Ray. Um I want your take on this uh, bill that have just recently been passed by the parliament in Uganda, which they refer to as the Sexual Offences Bill a section of which criminalizes the LGBT community. Yes. All right, you and I are aware that there is a law in existence. Yes, there is already a law that oh, I mean, they recover all so this. What's your... So my, my take on this is, uh, yeah. so it even to sound rude, but it is uh, this trend that is happening in Uganda, the discrimination of the LGBT community. So basically they are trying to tighten the noose around the LGBT community. You see, they are trying to group them with the real sex offenders because as they say, it's a sex offenses uh, act now bill. Yes. So basically, they are criminalizing us as a sex offense. You know, we've had about sex offenses like uh, harassment or rape. That's a sex offense. But me, I, my orientation as a gay man, I don't consider that an offense to anyone. So, but. Uh, Grouping me with real serial rapes or uh, harassment, harassment cases that we, we've heard about. I mean, that's a sad situation that they are putting me in. Right? So basically, um, basically, it's a dirty crime as a sex offense. So to refer to me as a, a sex offender just because of my orientation is very, 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 very wrong. And I feel so offended by that bill passing in the eye strongly advised the Ugandan parliament to basically reject it as it's in the bill at the moment. They have the right, they are, it's in their power to yeah. say that, no, why are we even wasting time with this? Right. We'd have something that is looking similar to this, you know. Spend the money somewhere else, you know. That's what it, my take on this is at the moment, really. Because I'm still waiting, because it's a bill, you know, you never know the parliament tells it, tells it out, you know. But for now, it's a worrying uh, situation that we're in at the moment. We, don't know what's going to come out of the parliament because what we know is parliament as we know it they are against uh, homosexuality so most likely they're going to pass this into a new law i don't know what will happen to the old one yeah. or they're going to keep both of them or i don't know exactly yeah. and I'm, I'm not basically they have not explained to us basically they, the few uh, news outlets that we get in uh, they don't give so much insight of what is happening at the moment. Okay. Yeah. But with time we shall know. Uh, but my 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 wish at the moment is the parliament look at the bill and say that this is a useless bill that we don't need at the moment. Yes. I'm yes. happy. I'm glad you come onto this program and express your views. Uh, thank you. Do you know your representative in the parliament? Uh, yes. Uh, Personally, I'm a M. Soga from Ginger. Ginger. Uh, my, yes, my, my uh, member of parliament is the Honorable Naveta. 
Honorable Dabeta, yes. if we have an opportunity now, yes. for one minute, yes. to be before Honorable Nabeta, yes. please look into the camera and tell this member how you feel. Yes. Okay, um, basically, uh, at the moment, how I'm feeling is a, it's a very sad situation for me at the moment to be in, at the moment to basically watch this kind of discrimination repeat itself over and over again. And, in the parliament, you know, we're discussing the same bill over and over again. My my uh, suggestion is, uh, instead of uh, spending more much time on this uh, discrimination uh, against the LGBT, maybe let's spend more time educating our young, educating our children, building hospitals, repairing the roads, you know, infrastructure. Basically, let's try to. Uh, increase the knowledge in our people really so that they can understand this forever changing world because the world is changing the child the world is not as it was nine years ago ten years ago the world has changed we have to live with the latest we have to live with the developments we have to face it's a new trend that is coming but if we get stuck in the past i mean we're gonna forever uh, depend on 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 what legal aid or i mean unicef or un we, I mean, we need to start planning for ourselves, you know, we need to do our own development rather than stick on things that don't matter, like discrimination against an LGBT member, criminalizing him for his sexuality, calling his sexuality a, a, a sexual offense. It doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense. Knowledge is power. He's just said we should spend our energy educating our youth. Right. It's nice having you on this program. Uh, thank Hopefully, you. when it's we call upon you, you'll be here. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. I'll be inviting one of my Ugandan friends to come around. Don't touch the dial. Hold on for me. I'll be with you shortly. Uh, my name is Rona Dimlopa. I'm from Uganda, uh, central region in Kampala. This afternoon, we have spoken with a lot of Ugandans who are um, members of the LGBTI community yeah. with respect to this uh, bill that is on the floor of the Ugandan parliament. Yeah. If you have a minute to spend with a member of the parliament, yeah. what will you tell that member? Please look at the camera. Um, first of member. all, I have pain in me. And my point, which I'll tell the member of parliament, is that this bill is no need to bring it out because um, we have already a law which is existing um, in Uganda for LGBTU. And then if you bring this bill, it's like you are repeating the same thing which already exists and you have a lot of things which is needed to be discussed about like schools, like uh, hospitals, like roads. We have very bad roads in Uganda and there's no reason why they bring this bill. And even if they bring it, it's like they are, they are repeating the same thing which already is there. It's a wasting of time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's always our pleasure having you on this channel. Yeah, right. I hope when next we call upon you, you are going to hit to our call. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. This is still Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Keep watching, keep commenting, keep sharing, and keep subscribing. Thank you very much. I've been spending time with members of the Ugandan community um, this afternoon. I will not want to repeat uh, most of the questions that I've uh, asked the Ugandans here this afternoon. I have Dio here. Dio, if you have a minute to spend with a member of parliament in the Ugandan government, what will you ask or what will you tell the member of the parliament? Thank you, Rauri. Yeah. Uh, I will, if I have to meet my member of parliament, M, uh, Mr. Nseroko, Honorable Nseroko Muhammad, I will advise him. The, the bill has been there, which criminalizing uh, the same sexual relationship. 
So there was no need of wasting energy bringing another beer. And it is, it's going to worsen. It's going to make everything worse and the pinning mostly for them uh, uh, LGBT members in Uganda. And they're going to be still hiding, uh, living under the closet. So let this spend to uh, uh, focusing on the, on the community, uh, providing the, the necessary requirements for the country and for the, and for the youth, instead of repeating the law which has been, been there in place. Hmm. The law has been in existence yes. from time immemorial. Yes. The, the Ugandan government, successive government, inherited this government from the colonial masters and various governments have refined, fine-tuned this against the LGBT community. But anyway, thank you for your time and hopefully when next we call upon you, you hit our call and you come to our program. Thank you, Dio. Thank you so much, Lenny. It's still Art and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. This afternoon we've been talking about the bill that um, is in the Ugandan parliament, which they refer to as the Sex Offenses Bill, a section of which criminalizes the LGBT community in Uganda. Well, you have heard from the horse's mouth, most Ugandans that are in the United Kingdom are against this bill. Hopefully, the listening ears of the members of the parliament, they're going to hear and they're going to repeal this bill. Thank you very much. I remain yours sincerely, Larry Ayala of the African, uh, Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Don't touch your dial. Keep watching, keep commenting, keep sharing, and keep subscribing. Thank you very much.